Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Brie. And I'm Vince. And today we're going to take you on a quick glimpse of our experience at New York Comic Con and show you our haul. Yes, New York Comic Con 2022. We are going to take you to all the booths today that we picked something up at or had an experience at. We're going to share some of those experiences with you. Like these badges that we got here. These are badges from NYCC. So if you guys weren't there, you got to kind of see this. This was kind of cool. Um, so we're going to show you stuff like that. We're going to show you stuff that we picked up. We picked up a bunch of different things. So I'm not, I'm not even going to spoil it. And then wait till the end because there are some surprises that you guys want to stick around for. So hope you enjoyed the video here. Let's get started. So our first stop was at the Funko Shop. They had some awesome decorations outside. Lots of display cases, showing some of the exclusives. Yeah, they did a good job with, uh, it was probably one of the coolest, it was the coolest booth there. Oh, by far. Not just because we're fan of, fans of Funko, it was definitely the most elaborate booth there. So they did an amazing job. Uh, we did not get any slots to get into the Funko booth, unfortunately, but the nice thing was we were able to get in the lounge fly side which was pretty open most of the uh yeah. couple days that we were there and you could see into the funko side from the lounge si lounge fly side exactly and we'll show you guys that later on so basically we still got kind of the experience without having to wait the three hours in line that a lot of people were having to wait so yep. which didn't seem like it panned out all that well for some people no you know what we didn't get to bring a lot of the uh exclusives home with us we were able to get a lot of stuff on the drop um we're going to show you a couple things that came in early so we'll be able to open up a couple things for you but you know not a lot of exclusives that came home with us but still an awesome experience overall so here are some of the exclusives you guys can See, we got the uh, Juggernaut Soda there, Roger Rabbit. Roger Rabbit looked even better in person. Than I agree. I Sometimes you see the glam shots and you're not 100% sure, but Roger Rabbit turned out awesome. The Simpson Pops up on the top there. Kaboom the Clown, one of my favorites from, from this con for sure. Smee. Smee. That actually was pretty awesome. Smee was great. Yeah, Smee was... So unfortunate that it was so big. Yeah, because I don't... You know, we're not a huge Peter Pan type of collector and then you could see that freddy there that freddy was unannounced and limited pieces so that ended up being really cool didn't get that either though here's a little sneak peek inside the funko booth yep okay guys hope you enjoyed our little glimpse of the funko booth we will show you inside the funko booth later on in this video when we stop over at lounge fly yep. we were able to get one con sticker pop that i did not purchase Thankfully, we had a great friend there. John from Slapshot Pops did pick us up one. He knew that I wanted this one pretty badly. And it goes to one of our largest collections, yep. which is Ad Icons. This was Kaboom the Clown. I was let, wait, I was pausing for you to say clown because... Isn't it Kaboom Serial Clown? It's... Well, <laughs> yeah, it, Kaboom Serial Clown. But... It, Okay, whatever. I wanted the dramatic effect because John hates clowns. He hates hates clowns. clowns. But you know what? But he gave you a clown. He gave me a makes clown. It even funnier. And it meant a lot to me, quite honestly. It meant a lot to all of us. It did. I was and gonna say it. It was a nice, unexpected it, surprise. You know what? It really was. Might or might not have brought a tear to my eye. It definitely brought a tear to your eye. Almost brought a tear to my eye as well. And it, it was the only pop that we walked away from New York. Comic Con with, but when we got home, guess what showed up? Which I, you know what? For us, we never get stuff right away. We've got a couple three liters here. 
And I believe there was a soda in there as well. How did that show up so fast? I, you know what? I know you hate the three liters. I think they sent them right away just because they know how much I just, I'm so excited to have three liters. I know. Look at this gigantic box. Now, we've got so much stuff over here. Okay. <laughs> Let's put this here and get this sucker open. I don't know if I should have stuck it on the... So we have three liter. Three liter. Oh look, I forgot that we even got one of these. Because you know what? I believe, okay, there should be a Maleficent and I believe that there is also a, uh, let's see here. Oh, you know what? Here, let's open these because these got like their code names on it. I was gonna say. There should be a Maleficent and there should be a Juggernaut here. And we did get lucky. We got a uh, Eric Draven, which is the crow. These sold out quick. Mm -hmm. 16500 I can't believe how fast those sold out. Okay, I got Juggernaut, which is going to be the one I'm opening. And, and I got Maleficent. And you're going to open Maleficent, I'm sure, right? Yep. So, like I said, we did not get these at NYCC, but we mm -hmm. were able to get these right away, which yeah. is surprising for us. We did get a lot of other pops and whatnot. Those will be coming in a later video. But since these came in, in time for us to do this video, let's open these. Let's go for it. Let's do it. You remember how to... Are we going to be any better this time? Uh, I don't know about that. I don't, I don't know about that either. But you know what? That plastic came off a lot easier than the last time that I did that. Well, this time the plastic's not sticking to the bottle like it did last time. You know what? Good point. Good point on that. I don't know if that's like a was it just a weird coincidence that time. Or... Okay, I kind of. These do take a little bit of uh, practice, huh? I got mine. I'm almost yeah, there. See those fingernails? Look at that. It's like they're made to open three liter sodas. <laughs> we really need to be collecting all these, hon. huh? Huh? Okay. No. Whew. Okay. That's, Should we just? That was a, that you, was a struggle. Do you want to just go at the same time? No, do yours first. Go ahead. Okay, because yours will know pretty quickly because it's going to have flames. So I'm going to do mine. It's got a broken helmet if it's the chase. Just the common. Just the common. But you know what? Wow, look at this guy. Huh? That's cool. Well, why are you like... You hate the three liters, but I want to see what you have to say about Maleficent. I think this is really, I actually love this thing. I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet. I'll stick it over here for now. I'm gonna open up this. Uh, no, you can go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, me too, ready? Yeah, I'm a little nervous, because of this Three, I'd like to get the chase. Two, one. Just, <gasps> oh, I think Ooh, that's a chase. That is the chase. chase. <laughs> oh, look who loves three liters now. Dude, that's awesome. No, I just wasn't expecting the chase. No, we're doing this little wrap up. Wow. Oh, Bro. Wow. Okay. I'm sorry. Now you, that's. I was going to rip it out of your yeah, hand. You were. I'm going to let you show. Okay. That's amazing. Now, would you like to maybe recant all the bad things that you said to me about these three liters? That looks fantastic. See, if they do three liters that's like that. That's so dude, cool. Wow, that is really glittery. Wow, nice. I was not expecting that one. I wasn't either. No, you know what I mean? Like, we've been planning out this video. I'm giving behind the scenes. We've been planning out this video. Here's the juggernaut real quick. And we we're kind of stressed out about doing all that, but wow, that is amazing. And I'm just going to let you know, I did break a nail on that. You don't want, I feel like <laughs> it, it was, was worth, worth it. it. I feel, I mean, I feel like it was worth it. I don't know if you're going to feel like it's worth it. You know what? I forgot we got this soda. You don't want, since you got that, I'm wow. going to just, I'm opening, I'm opening this one. That's amazing. Move that thing on. I, well, I, I'm putting it back okay, in the packaging because I'm nervous that it's That's like fine. Real. Okay. So this chase is super whatever. You know what I mean? I'm not having high hopes at this point. If he's got a crow in his hand, it's the chase. It's the only difference. Okay. You ready? Yep. I'm not feeling his hands. His no, hands are no. empty. I like the face. That's face a cool looking cool. pop, though. That is a good soda, right? 
Yeah. The soda. I said pop. No, no. I know what you... I wasn't... I knew what you meant. I like how they do the shiny boots, the d- matte cloak, c- coat, cloak, whatever we want to call it. But you know what? Maleficent over there made I, this all work. I'm, I'm distracted by that right now. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I mean, put it this way. Who cares that we didn't get anything at NYCC? <laughs> That was probably got the chase. yeah we got the chase that thing's amazing too so that it was is. super cool well that's it for basically the Funko shop we're gonna show you guys some more Funkos as we move along here we're gonna show you inside the lounge fly booth but next up is uh, handmade by robots yep I was gonna say we had it over handmade by robots met some great people while we were there yep and picked up a little something yeah so we'll show you guys their booth and then we'll come back and show you what we picked up. As you can see, Handmade by Robots has some pretty cool stuff. Some things that are coming soon that we got yeah. to take a peek at. And some exclusives. Yeah, some of those uh, five packs I think they were, I've never seen before. So those were really cool. Yeah. So one thing that I've never seen in person was what we picked up. And that was the Scooby-Doo Charms five pack. Those were all the villains, correct? Yes. Yep. I thought so, this was so neat. Oh, and Scooby in the middle. Yeah. Forget about Scooby in the Scoob middle. Scooby and the villains. Now, I'm looking over at our Scooby stuff over there. Did we ever get the miniature Scoob? I don't know if we did No, or not. we did get the van, the mystery machine. We do have the mystery machine. Yes, we do. And then, now I we got the minis. I don't believe that we got any of the minis, though. We might not have. Yeah, we may not so have. So now I feel like we need to go back and pick up. That was our pickup from Handmade by the Robots. Now... We went over to Fugitive Toys, probably probably one of the best Funko booths there. They had a ton. They did stuff. have a ton. They had a ton of stuff. So we are going to go through that and we're going to show you guys some of the grails that they had because it was pretty amazing. Yeah, so we'll cool show, stuff. yeah, there was some awesome stuff. So we'll show you all those grails, guys, and then we'll come back over here. Okay, so we are at the Fugitive booth, and let's take a look at what they had. They had a ton, ton of pops here, ton of grails. Wait till we get around the corner, ton Cocoa of grails. Pops. Cocoa Pops, yes, Ernesto. I see a cool Eeyore over there as well. Roger Rabbit, that's the OG Roger Rabbit, OG Bambi. Some good Disney stuff. Yeah, great Disney stuff on this side. Figment, Figment. Haunted Mansion stuff. Bunch of it pops. We had all those. We had all the Pennywises that they had, so we weren't able to add any of those. Oh man, let's see. The crow. We have the OG crow there. We kind of went fast through this section. This wasn't even their grail side. A bunch of OG turtles. I feel like they had a couple other turtles there that might have sold. Correct. But I think all so, those open spots were sold pops already. I, yeah, I think so. Supernatural pops there. So now we got over to the. Uh, 
Marvel section. And we slowed down the video a little bit because we had to go through kind of fast here as well. Guys, just so much, so much good stuff. You got the brown suit, uh, Wolverine. The uh, the white Deadpool. The white Deadpool. This was not the glow one, but they they did have the glow uh, glow one next to it. The red suit, glow one. The OG Iron Man, OG I, uh, the Hulk, Thor, Captain America, Winter Soldier. It's, I mean, Pink Chrome Batman. Bank robber Joker. We're just Sonic. Calling, Sonic, the Flock Sonic. Here was their Disney section. Oh, Look, there's so OG much. OG Cheshire here. Cat. We still need that guy. George George Sanderson. Yep. They had almost all of the uh almost all of the uh, uh ghosts from Haunted Mansion as well. Orange Bird. Orange Bird. We almost bought Orange Bird. We were going to. We were so close. We probably should have. Know. You know what? There's one we missed right there as well. The uh Universal Monsters uh there was two or three of the Universal Monsters there. Kind of missed those as I think well. it was so overwhelming. We couldn't even you know, focus. I was trying to videotape and like thinking about what I wanted in our collection was not even in my brain. And that's a great point. We There was a Daphne in there and I did not notice until we started editing the video because we would have picked that one up yep. if, if we would have seen it. We just There was just too much to see here. You could see all the Freddies that they had here. So much to take in. So all the Zodiac sign Freddies. They have almost the full set probably here. Scorpio used to be going for a lot more than 60 bucks. Look at that, Leo. Leo. You gotta of course, love him. Of course you love Leo. I am a Leo. I know you are. <laughs> I know you are. You know, they had the Chrome, uh, you know, I like those Chrome Freddies. Some of the box of fun from this year, that uh, Loki, that Loki's pretty awesome. Yep. That is the 1500 piece. There's also 500 piece Loki. Got some of the uh, robots, the Freddy robots, Bigfoot, Flocked, Blue, Bigfoot. We do have that one. Steve, or, uh, no, yeah, that was Steve from Stranger Things. Yep. Freddy. That thing has gone up. That Funko, that tornado dude was from last year, wasn't he? Yes. Okay. that's what Last year. Yes, last year. We got Bone Daddy. Some of the ad icons. Flock Tony the Tiger there. Tricks Rabbit, we still need that uh, Jack in the Box. Should have probably picked that one up as well because hundred bucks is not a not a bad price. And then a bunch of sports grails down here as well. Hetty spaghetti, love Hetty. <laughs> Some more sports. So at Fugitive, we decided it'd be fun to pick up a couple mystery boxes. Yes. So we picked up four $25 mystery boxes. I think they said it was they said valued it was almost, at 20 Yeah, I think the lowest was 20 yeah. up to 80 Isn't that what they said? I don't remember. You don't want... I don't have high hopes, quite honestly. Because, you know, we did a, another video. If you guys want to check it out, I'll try to link it up above. But we did another video where we opened four from Mystery Grail. Did pretty awful on those. And we did, uh, and we got four from Undiscovered Realm. Did pretty awful on those too. I don't have We're high hopes. I'm hoping this is going to change it. You know what? That's what I'm hoping. Hunt, we pulled Maleficent today. Let's see what happens. So we got box 25, box 3, Ooh, box three. 17, and box 6. What do you, you want to just go two and two? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's just open them. Let's see what we got. Okay. We won't even do the value right now or anything like that. Three. Okay, go for it. I'm going to start with six. What do we got? We're staring at it. Oh, Moon Knight. You know, that would be super cool if it was the con sticker. That's what I was kind of hoping. <laughs> I know. So You know what? I was hoping that too. But Scarlet Scarab is an awesome pop. I love that one. Definitely have it because I have most of the Moon Knight pops. Okay. But you know what? That's not a horrible. That's not a horrible pull. It's probably not that far under twenty five dollars either. It might be around twenty five or a couple dollars over. All right. So I don't think we did too bad on that one. Now I totally just peaked. What was it good? Okay. What do I have here? Loki, he who remains. Another twenty twenty two. They probably are having a hard time getting rid of these. Uh, there's a lot of these at Target still. If you guys need it, go to Target. There's a lot of these left. I, You know what? I never picked up this one. Okay. It's the first of King. You know what? 
It's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. Could have gotten less at Target. Less than 24 bucks. That's unfortunate for us. <laughs> unfortunate for us is absolutely right. All right, next one. What you do ready? we got? Yes. Oh, Bob, Bob Ross. Ross. You know what? That's kind of cool because that is probably a little bit older, no? Oh, with this Peapod. What year is it from? This is... Yeah, 2017. Five-year-old okay. pop. Okay, you don't want... I don't even care about value that much if you're getting an older pop. Like, those two are... A newer fresh. pop. Fresh. Yeah. Very fresh. Yeah, right. so Bob Ross. Okay, that's not bad. And then my last one here... Did you peek at this one? Nope. Okay. Feels kind of... Hefty. Oh, Star Wars. Book of Boba Fett. Cursantin. Blocked. Yeah. I love that one. A lot of SDCC pops that I feel like they probably couldn't get rid of. Guys, this is on sale at GameStop right now for 11 bucks. Go pick it up. Oh, no. If you're watching this, when this video comes out <laughs> on Thursday, go pick this up. It's on, on sale at GameStop. You know what? Whatever. We... I, I'm not going to block too much of the uh, screen. Striking out, striking out, striking out. You don't want That's a super cool pop. I don't mind having two of those, honestly, because I think down the road it might be worth a little bit more. I was going to say, I think he's pretty awesome. Oh, looking. I think it's an amazing pop. I absolutely love it. Value-wise, we just didn't do good because we could have bought two kind of those of for 25 bucks. Terrible. You don't want... Ouch. I think what we probably learned, all the mystery boxes at uh, NYCC were not good. Which I, honestly, I kind of expected that. But mystery boxes are our thing. We didn't spend a ton, ton of money. These were obviously the most that we spent. So we didn't do that good. We're not even going to go through the value because we got so much more to show you guys. So <laughs> you know what? It is what it is. We'll see how so much we lost. let's call it a loss and move on. I'm still looking at Maleficent. <laughs> I keep looking at Maleficent and it's a win on the day either way. So next up, we went to the Whatnot booth. And we met a bunch of people over there. It yeah. It was kind of fun. Yeah, so uh, I know Carl came over there, viewer of the channel. Uh, Tim was over there, viewer of the cha channel, also a patron of ours. Uh, we also saw Joey there. Chris. Chris, we Trevor. saw... Trevor. Trevor. Yeah, that's right. We did. Wow, that's we met right. a lot of... Yeah. You know what, because we kind of... It was the one spot in the con that wasn't like completely swamped like with people everywhere. So it was a good kind of meeting place. It was in the middle and they had a big booth over there. So yeah, we got to meet a bunch of viewers, which was pretty cool. Uh, and since we're talking about whatnot guys, uh, we do have an auction this Saturday, 7 p.m. Eastern over on the whatnot app. We are gonna do mystery boxes, Halloween pops, and we got something special at the end of this video that we'll, we'll let everybody know about that as well. So stick around here for a little bit, but we did stop over at the whatnot booth. We did. And then after that, we went over to Loungefly? Loungefly. I yeah. went back to Loungefly. You went back to Loungefly. I know you guys are all surprised yes, that I went back to Loungefly, but it happened. But the experience that we had over at Loungefly was kind of awesome as well. Yeah. You know what? We got to Loungefly. And John and I snuck in the exit. Yeah. Me because they told us we could. Yeah, I think it was me and Jim had met, I think Trey over, was actually on the way, or... Jo Joanna was calling, not knowing where anybody was even at. Yeah, we ran into some other viewers, so you guys got in there, and you know what? You got in at a great time. Like, it was pretty amazing. When you guys see the clip here, I, it wasn't planned, and it turned out perfect. So you guys yeah. uh, enjoyed the, uh, the couple clips we have for you. I like this. 
bigger. I like the package. All right, so they Good got pop one. Wait, wait, what is what's in it? It's a pop one. Oh, it's a pit. Okay, okay, cool. So I'm going to say I've got the chase and you don't tell you. You know it. You already go ahead and open yours. Wait, I don't even know what the chase is. I, You'll see when you'll know. know. You got it. That is the common. <laughs> Come on, bro! Come on, bro! I'm happy with that, though. Um, uh, uh, Bulls is the best. So, so I'm, I'm so excited. What's your name? Jen. Um, how long have you been waiting in this line? Uh, like 25 minutes. Okay, so tell me that this made the wait a little better. Of course it did. That's right, that's Whoa! the truth. Oh, Here you go. 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 Thank you so much. All right, the best. And, and I'm going to bore you with the story because I'm a long winded person. I'm going to take but this is going to be quick. So when this 7 Eleven uh, Deadpool uh, uh, variant came out, I was doing a signing in Virginia, and my buddy Dave travels with me. And right in the hotel they put us at, across the street, because I'm like, it, it, it's Virginia. It wasn't very highfalutin. I mean, I was like at a holiday. It was just fine. I just need a room. But there's a 7-Eleven right next to us. And we got in at midnight. And 7-Eleven is open late for your snacks and your Funkos. And my buddy and I, we are on our hands and knees, hands and knees, looking at the bottom shelves, because that's where they have their... So, man, I crawled for these the same as you, man. I got off my... I'm looking, and did they have one? No. The guy goes, we sold the last one earlier. I'm like, damn. 7-Eleven birthday cake, Deadpool. This is exclusive. All right, we are going to bring out the creepy crew to give prizes out to people that have the most fun in spirit. Hey, Loungefly, what do you say? Carissa? All right. If you guys are loud, they're gonna get the most amazing lounge fly pins on this side, and on this side, you're gonna get some crazy, funko, frightening fun on. for everyone! Woo! One, two, three! Woo! One, two, three! Woo! One, two, three! Do you want fun or not? One, two, three! Woo! Oh, All right, here, pass those out, my friend. Thank you for being a fun co collector. Hey, thank you. Maybe I'll see you at Fright Night tomorrow. Oh, you will? I will? Are you sure? Uh, yeah, I'm positive. I didn't get a ticket. <laughs> All right, everyone. So, while we were in there, I picked up a little something. Now, you got that for free, correct? I did. <laughs> I didn't ask you that. I thought. So when they, uh, when uh, they were yelling, "Who's gonna be louder?" Yes, I knew. And I wanted to win because I don't like. Losing. I had a feeling that your team would win, hon. I had a strong feeling that your team would would win. I'm pretty with sure you there wasn't really any. You were probably the no, probably not, but you're probably the MVP. All right, so there's a couple other little pins that we, we picked got some up buttons. too. Buttons. Another button. Yeah. We have a sticker. Yep, hold that puppy up there. And a sucker. And a sucker. Are we going to eat that sucker or are we saving Maybe. it? I don't know. Okay. We'll All to... I know is that it was a great experience. I had fun. Now. I came back with tons of little things. You came back with little things and maybe one bigger item. You were able to pick up a bag. I was. Okay. So that's already established. They can start guessing which bag you might have picked up because we did show some pictures. But what we got, and honestly what I was happy most for... We got a poster and then one of the like their shopping bags. So these shopping bags were ginormous. Listen, our too. poster got completely jacked up. Yeah. But you know what? Whatever. Who cares? It makes it like more horrific. You know what I mean? Because it got pretty beat up and then <laughs> gives it a ghoulish effect. You know, we had to try to get it home. We probably could have bought a tube there, but it was already a little bit messed up. But then we got this awesome bag. Look at this bag. Frightman Front Street. Like this was I think the best part about this bag, I'm not gonna lie, 
is the fact that you, Josh, and John were walking around with these bags on your shoulders. We all got lounge fly bags. You know what? None of us got in the Funko booth, but we all bought, we all got walked away with lounge fly bags. Yeah, you, Joanna, and uh, Shannon all walked away with uh, lounge fly all right, bags. Should now, we show which, off the bag? You know what? I'm not surprised that you and Shannon have good taste. Show off the bag. Because you guys ended up with the same bag as well. I... It's an aside. What do you think of it? Pretty I awesome, right? I love it. And we're going to put in a picture of the glow. Yes. Because the glow is phenomenal. Did you see it. the inside on that? Oh, yeah. Because I, I watched I'm sorry, Professor Jass's uh, video. And I did see the inside. And it was definitely worth taking a look at. I usually show off the inside and I totally didn't even think you're, about it just now. You're excited. I was too excited. You're too excited. It came Look down to either that stuff. one or sadness because that was actually a really Really? Is bag that what too. you... I didn't know that. Is yes. that what you were deciding between? Yes. It was really? between those two. Okay. Well, that's pretty awesome. So, hon, listen, this was a long video. <laughs> I thought it was an entertaining video. It was entertaining for me at least. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, before... Should we show everything off? Should we let's show, show everything, everything let's off do one this. last time? Because then I got a little bit of an announcement as well. So let's, here's our mystery box pops, which, whatever, they're good. Now, yeah, the three liter, man, look at that thing. You know, let's make room in the middle for him. Her? Her. Yeah, her. Why did I say him? I know Maleficent's not a him. Throw all my pins out there. Okay, I'll put hey, them over here. Hey, and for good measure. Yes, Chris, viewer Chris, was able to get these for us. Even got your name spelled the right I know, way. I know, right? With an I. And you know what else? I forgot to show this off. We yeah. got this over at Toy Temple, I believe. Yeah, yes, it, was it was at Toy Temple. This was the Diz Tracker pin. These were free. They also had a Funko Finders one. We did not get that one, but nope. we were able to get that one as well. Yeah. So, guys... That's our haul. I almost forgot about Kaboom oh. here, too. Let me throw Kaboom Ooh. out here, because... You know what? Kaboom, Kaboom is my favorite from the con. I can say that. My favorite from not getting at the con definitely was this Maleficent over here. I mean, that's pretty... That's a pretty good haul. My Don't favorite from the con was, was my bag. bag. I had a feeling. My favorite not from the con... Was Maleficent, no is doubt about it. Is this beauty right here? Yeah, it is a beauty. And would you like to say that again? It's a three liter, and it's your favorite thing that you got. Is what not you're at the to con. Tell okay, well, hun. Either way, <laughs> I'm just moving those pops out because that bag is very cool. We got Maleficent and Kaboom. That was a pretty awesome haul. We had a great time in New York. You know, we were able to see a lot of different things. We Definitely, have a great tour guide, my cousin. The yep. first night we got in. Yeah, we definitely need to get back over there. I'd love to uh, visit again maybe next year and hopefully see more of the more of you guys out there as well. Now, what I did want to just say real quickly, we are going to do a giveaway on our auction this Saturday, 7 p.m. Eastern, over on the WhatNot app. We were able to get one more pop in that came in way faster than I thought it would be from Walgreens. Can you believe Walgreens Surprise. shipped the fastest to us? So we have... A shared sticker Aquaman that we're going to be giving away along with other giveaways as well. So if you guys want to stop out there, we will uh, hang out for a couple hours. Have some pops up for sale. Have some mystery boxes there. Talk about NYCC. Talk about Funko and anything else you guys want to talk about. So join us out there. Hope you guys enjoy, enjoyed the haul today. Let us know what your favorite pickup of the... Not necessarily of what we got. Of what maybe you guys got. Let us know what your favorite pickup from the con was. Yep. Because I can't wait to see everybody open up all their stuff. So, guys, please comment, uh, like, and subscribe. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video today, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.